Our next guest has defeated his Democrat challenger to become the next congressman of Virginia's 5th District. That's right in the middle of the state, just west of Richmond. For more on this, let's welcome in Virginia Congressman-elect John McGuire. First, sir, congratulations on your race. Uh, before defeating Gloria Witt, you defeated sitting Congressman Bob Good in the primaries. What are your top priorities for you in this seat? Well, my top priority is, is to protect your life, your liberty, pursuit of happiness. I believe that's the American dream. It's been fading. And we all want to live, work, and raise our family in peace. And we haven't had that under these America last policies. So we've got to implement the, those executive orders as soon as Trump gets in there to secure that southern border. I hear rumors they're going to try to do another mass migration before Trump gets sworn in. And we got to do everything we can to stop that. So I know the latest count as of this morning has Republicans six seats away from officially retaining control in the House. If that happens, Republicans will have the majority in the House, Senate, and of course, the White House. What does that say about the state of our country? Well, it tells you that Americans are sick and tired of being last. You know, uh, three and a half years were the best advertisement to get Trump back in the White House. You think about these foreign wars that wasn't happening under President Trump. You think about this fentanyl poisoning. Uh, it's being made in China, coming across our southern border and killing the American people. Uh, you know, young people, the chances of them buying a house with interest rates up over 7 percent, inflation up to 10 percent, it's almost impossible for you to live, work and raise your family in peace. So I think Americans are sick of it. Uh, and somehow, some way, we, uh, we, we have a chance to get the House, the Senate and the White House. And President Trump, I was with him on Saturday. He's fired up. He said, John, you're going to get six hours sleep in the first hundred days. He wants to get to work right away and save America. Yeah, it sounds like he's going to do a lot in those first hundred days. We saw Trump publicly claim victory around 2.30 in the morning yesterday, but we didn't hear from Kamala Harris until a little after 4 p.m. yesterday. Here's what she had to say in part to her supporters. The outcome of this election is not what we wanted, not what we fought for, not what we voted for. We must accept the results of this election. Earlier today, I spoke with President-elect Trump and congratulated him on his victory. I also told him that we will help him and his team with their transition and that we will engage in a peaceful transfer of power. Of course, Democrats now are playing the blame game. They're trying to figure out how they lost. We've heard everything from it's Joe Biden's fault to America must be racist. Uh, but you're in, in your opinion, why did Donald Trump win this race? Well, he won because he cares about the average man, average woman. He cares about the American people. You know, he has a huge heart for our country. He loves our country. He loves the American people. He took a bullet for us and he got back up and said, fight, fight, fight. And he got right back to work. He didn't make excuses. He didn't play a victim. He has dedicated his life to the American people. He is America first. And, you know, I've been with him since he came down the escalator. During one of my races in the Virginia General Assembly, a Republican told me I better not put a Trump flag on my pickup truck or I would lose. So I put two Trump flags on my pickup truck. <laughs> I had the second biggest win in Virginia. So I, he means what he says and says what he means. And I know he loves us. And I'm so excited to be part of history to turn this country around and make America great again. It's so it's going to be a huge honor to be with, on his team in Washington. And now he will take uh, the other office on January 20th. He'll be inaugurated. What is the first thing you would like to see him accomplish on day one? Well, number one, we talked about it, just uh, secure that border. I mean, yeah. obviously, we need to have energy independence again and energy dominance. Almost everything that's more expensive across the country can be traced back to us buying fossil fuels from countries that hate us. Now, we were making money on fuel. Instead, we started spending money on fuel. That makes no sense. So, but really, number one, secure that border. Number two, let's go for energy independence, energy dominance, and get these divisive ideologies out of our classrooms and everything else. Sir, there were, you know, I would say maybe six months, a year ago, people were saying the Republican Party um, is, is not together. It's not united. After this win, and especially with, with all of these Republicans winning, winning, winning these seats, do you think the Republican Party has come together and will, will obviously work together? Well, we have to. We have to because, you know, it's not about me as a candidate or another candidate. It's about saving our country. It's a better, better future for our grandchildren. So we have got to. The thing, I heard uh, Trump said yesterday in his speech that, you know, we won because we have better policies. And that's true. It's a, you know, it's a war on common sense. If you had a list of things you would want to do, if you want to destroy this country, 
you would uh, have open borders, you would defund the police, take away people's guns, and kill babies. I mean, this, it's, we're the party of life, the party of liberty, and uh, pursuit of happiness. So I think we have better policies, and uh, I think we're coming together. Obviously, we've shown that with the win. And you know what's funny is everything that's happening right now in the news, when I spoke with Trump on Saturday, he said we're going to win, and we're going to win big, and, I'm, and he's right, and we're doing it, and I'm excited to be part of it. Yeah, and you look at the popular vote. He won that, too. The, the count right now, he's up by 5 million there. Pretty incredible. John McGuire, come back soon. Thank you so much, and congratulations again. God bless you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Well, moving on now to 